in an interior design scheme or planning it, it feels like there's nothing guaranteed to bring on a row more quickly than an argument about paint colour or style of furniture. And it's a question that crops up again and again. How do I get my partner to agree to my plans? Or how do we have a discussion and reach an agreement which doesn't make both of us cross? And it's not always easy, you won't always do it. But having a conversation about why something has met with such an instinctive reaction is worth doing. We react to colour in both a cultural and an emotional way. So for a cultural reaction to colour to slightly stereotype, a Dutch person might think of orange as the colour of their football team or the royal family. They would react to that according to how they felt about the national football team or the royal family. An American might look at the colour orange and think more of a chain gang, provoking a different reaction. So those are cultural reactions that we can't really do anything about, but it's worth finding out if someone is strongly against a colour, if that's a cultural reaction they're having. We also react on an emotional level to colour, and that might be, we've all heard it, I never wear navy blue, it was the colour of my school tie. I don't like purple, it was my school uniform. So there are those emotional reactions to colour and those are harder to deal with. But as I've said before, there's no such thing as the wrong colour, it's the wrong shade. So if you are wedded to a particular colour that is on, for the sake of argument, a purple spectrum, that particular shade of purple that cropped up in a school tie might be a veto, but there might be a softer lavender shade or a lilac shade that's verging towards gray or blue that you might be able to work with. So the first thing is to find out why somebody doesn't like something, talk it out of them, and then see if there's a compromise to be reached along that color spectrum or whether you need to move away and find another color that you both like. The other thing you've got to remember is that interior design is a long game. Sometimes introducing something that somebody hates and just parking it quietly, leaving it there, they will come to accept it. And then there's the age old trick of making them feel like it was their idea in the first place. I know someone else who always gives her partner a really good steak and a bottle of wine before she's about to introduce anything controversial. That often works. And in my own house, we've developed a system called the marital veto, which hasn't been invoked very often, three times in about 25 years. But that is when you feel so strongly and so instinctively that you don't want something, you are allowed to veto it and it will never be mentioned again. And in our case, this was when I was toying with the idea of some gold grout in the bathroom. I was vetoed, it was never mentioned again. And while I wouldn't say this to everybody, he may have been right.